Oh boy, it is so windy today. Man, oh man. All right, welcome in Germany. I just drove to Germany from the Netherlands. So no bicycle this time, unfortunately. <laughs> Sounds like some good Dutch music. So this is the wall where I'm kicking off the video. I'm gonna paint this wall first. It's a hall of fame. Look at this one. Uh, yeah, for the good order, don't send me nudes. I don't want to see your whatever. So I'm thinking about repainting this one. I've seen this guy's work on Instagram a lot. This looks more like a throw up, something simple. And I want to go a little bit more complex. Can I cover it? Yes, no. That's always the discussion on legal walls. So I wasn't really planning on doing a Hall of Fame tutorial, but I like to give you some quick tips, especially for those who are just starting out. When you're going to a Hall of Fame, try to repaint the wall so you can start with a clean slate. If you do it, always cover one piece entirely and do not go over, for example, till here. So this one is painted over and this one isn't. I think it's just not really respectful. Also, if you see that multiple riders have been to a wall, this one, for example, this one has a gray background all the way try to repaint on the left or the right never in the middle also if you're painting over someone else's piece try to choose a piece that looks like there's less effort in than you're planning to put into it style is always something that's up for discussion so don't say you're gonna make something better because maybe someone else doesn't like your work and you don't like his work so yeah, those are some quick tips. Now it's time for me to start sketching. I'm almost done with the sketch, but I can't really remember which colors I picked for this piece, so. The sound of a scratching can on the wall is one of the best sounds, I think. Oh yeah, now I remember. It's really windy, so hopefully I can keep it a little bit clean. We'll see. I didn't shake the cans yet. But I was planning on going for a bit of an old school fill-in. So that would mean fading the blues in each other with bubbles and that kind of stuff. And then a red outline. So this color is called ice blue, but compared to the other colors, this almost looks like white. Yeah, but I don't speak any Dutch. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, but I only made this, so. Okay, that should be almost it.
seems like that every time I put off my camera, someone is coming over to talk with me and they all start in German. But of course, I can't talk German or not good enough to have a conversation. A girl just came up to me and she gave me a little compliment about my work and she thought that my work was better than the rest, but I think you can't really compare them. But anyway, getting a compliment is always nice, right? So why am I in Germany? If you have seen the video where I visit Stepany Arena, the graffiti festival, then you know that I told you guys something about pictures at the end of the video. So right now I'm on, on a little trip. I'm staying the entire weekend here in Germany, not only to paint myself, I'm not gonna paint myself, not gonna paint for myself, but also to follow other graffiti writers. I'm gonna do that with my camera, I'm gonna take pictures and I'm gonna film those guys. That video is gonna be for a documentary purpose only. So the plan is, first you guys are gonna see this trip video and after that, next week, there will be a atmospheric like documentary video and I have no idea when or where I'm gonna show the pictures. Uh, yeah, in one line, that's gonna be impossible. Uh, well, I pretty much nailed it. Yeah, I must say that I really like this wall. Goodbye. So right now I'm heading back to my car. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the trunk and then drive to the extraction point. Now it's, uh, I'm gonna meet up with the guys. I'm super hungry. So first I have to eat something and then we'll see. Probably gonna already start documenting these guys this evening. So I think it's gonna be a long day. Not sure if I will also record something more for this video today and otherwise I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow Ich muss meine Dosen schützen Schützen? Oh. I don't know German. What, what is shaking in German? Schütten. Schütteln. Ich muss meine Dosen Dosen schütteln. Sh sh yeah, Sounds more like I have to shake something else, but. Yeah. So I completely skipped yesterday. It was Saturday and uh, we've been driving around seeing spots. I've been documenting these two guys and now we are going for a chill spot. Or at least I hope it's a chill spot. Yeah. yeah. So let's see how that goes. It can be good. Uh, so working on Sunday. But yeah, I haven't been recording too much yesterday just to make sure I can keep their uh, identities a secret. And also what I did yesterday, you're gonna see in another video. Anyways, I already had a great time with these guys and let's see what they paint today. And hopefully, hopefully you guys find it refreshing to see. Ooh, slip and slides.
Coming in here? Yeah, it is, it is. So there's too much work going on. We had to leave. Kein style on a pfeil. I painted a chucky piece with an uh, arrow character next to it, but I ended up with only a couple of shitty pictures because it was getting dark so fast. Anyway, I had a great weekend in Germany, and uh, if you want to see something about the other guys, I can tell you it's the real deal. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.